A man needs what? Admiration and respect. A woman needs what? Family commitment. These are needs. Now, a man doesn't want respect. He needs it. I'm going to give you something to write down as we close. And I want you ladies to write this down in, in capital letters. Here it is. A man does not need love. Very important. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever say a woman should love a man. It doesn't exist in scripture. Because a man does not need love. Why? Because a man needs respect. Write that down. A man interprets respect as love. When a woman tells you she loves you, it doesn't mean anything to you. Think about it. But when she respects you, you know she loves you. Ephesians chapter 5 says this. Husband, love your wife. It tells the man to love the woman. Never tells the woman to love the man. But it does say, wives, respect your husband. Same chapter. Because God knows what he made. Okay, so the first problem you got right now, ladies, is what is respect? See, Rita Franklin had it wrong. That's why she still ain't married. <laughs> All I need. She had it backward. Here's a little respect. Yeah. Don't sing that song anymore. She had it backward. No, she needed love. <laughs> ah. See, James Brown had it right. Respect your own skin. Okay. Listen to me. How do you respect a man? Now, here's, here's a secret. The word respect, ladies, write this down. Come on, write it down. Respect means to speak highly of. Wow. Respect means to hold in high regard. Keep writing. Respect means to praise. The average man in this room gets zero praise. Zero. It's not funny. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. Okay. Let me tell you what hurts a husband in this church. Here's what hurts a husband in this church. You respect Pastor Larry more than him. You are not married to your pastor. I know and I'm not naive. I know it's tough to find something in him to praise. I know that. <laughs> but the Bible says to do it. Why? God knows how the car works. A lady came to me years ago. She's in our church now. Her husband, one of our, they one of our deacons and elders. But when they first came, she was coming to church by herself for years. And I kept noticing she keep coming to church. Husband wouldn't come to church. I asked her one day, I said, where's your husband? He's home. I said, why don't I see him? She said, he never, he said he didn't believe in God. He'd never come to church. He said, he ain't to church. I said, why? He said, and church is for pastors. That thing hit me hard. So she was in, in prayer meeting. I went over to her. I wrote a note to her husband. We are just about to start prayer meeting. I wrote a note to her husband. I said, sir, I apologize for keeping your wife away from you. I'm sending your wife home because you are her priority. I signed it. I said, go home now. Go away from prayer meeting. Your husband is more important than prayer meeting. Go home. She said, pastor, what are you doing? I said, you go home. Give your husband this right now. She went home. 
gave note to her husband. Around Thursday, I got a phone call from, from her. She said, my husband is talking strange. I said, what happened? I said, her husband, for the whole week, kept saying, I don't understand that man. I don't understand that pastor. No pastor does this. No pastor sends people home. <laughs> and so he was being confused all week. So next Sunday, he came to church, sat way in the back. She was up front. And she was glowing, smiling, all through the service. I didn't know he was there. At the end of the service, I was shaking hands with all these people. And she came up. She said, Pastor! Pastor! I said, what's the problem? She said, he's here. I said, who is? My husband. He's in the back. I said, really? I said, tell him come and meet him. She says, he ain't going to come. I said, you tell him I want to meet him. Okay. <laughs> she ran back, went in the lobby where he was, brought him in. And he was dressed, you know, T-shirt, you know, just checking things out. And I walked down to meet him. We met halfway. I said, man, it's good to see you. Welcome. And he said, yes. Yeah. He said, he said, you all right, you know. You all right, man. I said, what do you mean I'm all right? He says, I like you. He says, man, you're all right. I said, what do you mean? He says, I've never seen a pastor send people home. I said, but that's your wife. She should be home to cook for you and take care of you. He said, that's what I mean. You see, I've been in many churches. My wife been may not be in a church where the pastor saw me as being more important than him. Changed my life. I said, of course you are, man. She's married to you. She should respect you. He said, you know, I like this church. Next Sunday he was back, sitting halfway in the church. Had her on a shirt this time. Made an altar call, came up, gave his life to Jesus. Respect.